Hey everyone. I know it's been almost a month since the last video, um, but today I just wanted to talk to you about some new shoes that I'm trying out. So I read a wire cutter article about the top running shoes in 2023, um, and I'll link it in the description. But I read through that article, I was kind of interested. Um, not that I need really need new running shoes right now. Um, so currently I run in Nike Free RN 2018s, which is this kind of shoe. It's it's pretty used, so don't mind, it's not a brand new shoe. I think I started, I started wearing it right after the marathon in February. But um, the Nike RN 28, Nike Free RN 2018, it's a minimal, it's considered a minimalist shoe, although it does have a 10 millimeter drop, which is the, um, the decline from the the heel to the toe but uh, it has a 10 millimeter drop but as you can see it's extremely flexible you the bottom is very thin so you can see you can feel a lot of like if I run on gravel I can pretty much feel the gravel underneath my feet so I've been running in this shoe the Nike free model um, since I was 15 um, and don't make me do the math, but it was somewhere around 2008, 2009 when I started wearing these shoes, these kinds of shoes. Um, and the 2018, after the 2018, I, I think that the model and the style just completely went downhill. So I only like the 2018s and a lot of people do. Nike still sells them, the 2018 model. So this is the RN model. This is what I'm running in currently. The one I actually like better is, uh, the Nike Free Flyknit 2018s. Um, the, the, this, this one I've run two marathons in this this pair, this shoe. So I've retired them and I'm saving them for the Tough Mudder I'm doing next week. But um, same, same quality, they fit like a glove um, and they have um, extremely an extremely flexible sole and minimalist shoe. This one also is just, it's actually, it's got that Flyknit technology, that Flyknit, um, stitching um, on the over the the foot so you can't really see it because there's no light behind me but like I can see the light right through this knitting it's very um, loosely wo woven so extremely comfortable but um, I was interested in looking at different shoes because although I Nike free has worked for me for 15 years um, it is a minimalist shoe I am getting older and I have started noticing some soreness in my knees so I'm trying to be proactive. A lot of my friends who I've known, a lot of people I've known since high school, um, have started getting injuries more often because we're all getting older. And so I'm looking into, along with other things such as dynamic stretching and different fitness um, routines and uh, weightlifting and strength training, I'm also looking into trying some different shoes, not exclusively, uh, I think switching a shoe exclusively after you've run with in the same model for so long, especially a minimalist shoe, can be kind of dangerous um, because it can alter your gait. But I but I did want to try out some some new shoes. So after reading the article, I picked two different ones. So I'm done with that. I'm done with that. So um, this is the this is Brooks. This is the Glycerin Twenty, and Glycerin to me it just it sounds like sugar, but pretty sure it is and maybe I'm thinking of something else anyway this is the glycerin 20 um, a couple things you'll notice about this it's got a really wide uh, um, sole it has a lot of room for your toes which I'll probably like although I'm used to wearing the Nike which fits like a glove this kind of design is pretty standard on in Brooks um, and this is not a wide model this is the standard they have a wide model too and I'm like how big is wide but anyway um, it's a neutral shoe so it doesn't have the, too much cushioning um, and it is it has a much uh, firmer base a much firmer sole um, and it also has a 10 millimeter drop just like the Nike free so I'm gonna start running some short distance with this one I'm excited when I tried it on 
I it actually felt very comfortable. I jogged around the house a little bit. Um, something else, the ankle collar is also a little like the Nike Free, and it's pretty flexible. Not quite as flexible as the Nike Free. Something I noticed about this one is it's a little bit heavier than the Nike Free, so um, that might be might feel a little strange when I'm running. We'll see, but this is the Brooks. And then the one I, I've actually run about four miles today um, in my spare time is the, um, this is the New Balance. It is the 880 V11. They have a V12, but I guess there are massive changes to it. So I got the V11. Um, this is a, this uh, is a pretty lightweight shoe um, and it also has a much stiffer base. It's not a minimalist shoe. Uh, uh, it has a smaller, um, a smaller area for your foot, and actually, I thought I would like that more when I started running this morning. I was a little concerned because I felt like it was pressing on my foot a little bit over here. But after two miles, I didn't even notice. Um, and then the last thing is the ankle. The ankle collar is extremely stiff. It's very, very stiff. When I put it on, I was a bit surprised, and I didn't try these on at the shoe store. By the way, I ordered them, so. Um, it was kind of a kind of a mystery how they would fit. Um, and then if you notice as well, there's this there's this massive amount of support for the ankle, which is supposed to be good. It's supposed to prevent um, Achilles tendon and heel injuries. But for me, I tend to blister very easily. So this was a concern for me. Um, I wore some higher socks today and actually I didn't notice that at all. Um, they, they were extremely comfortable. Uh, I did feel them more when I was hitting the ground in, in the way that I could feel the shoe and not the ground. And so maybe that's a good thing. Um, the big thing for me is that I'm not altering my gait because an altered gait could cause certain um, muscular imbalances to surface or it could just cause some kinds of um, injury due to strain on tendons that aren't normally strained so trying not to alter my gait when I'm running with them tomorrow I'm going to do at a minimum a 10 mile run so I'll definitely go back to my Nike free for that but yeah really excited about my new shoes and the next marathon is in Charlottesville Virginia um, I'm not really doing a lot of training. I'm doing some minor strength training and, you know, I, sometimes I do distance-ish. It's not like what I was doing though. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that last marathon's distance will kind of carry me over as far as long, long distance is concerned. But until then, I'm just doing tops, 12 mile, maybe 13 mile runs as my distance and then just running my normal runs. Uh, I got a lot of stress going on right now. but. Thanks for watching, and if you feel so inclined, I'd love for you to like, and I'd really love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, this summer I got a lot of cool runs coming up for you, and they're not all in the US, so stay tuned. Um, and yeah, have a good night, bye.